Well, here we go. Happy New Year. It is, uh, it's awesome to be back. Um, you know, I love, I love my job. <clears throat> love my job. Um, but I love vacation too. But uh, a couple weeks and I'm, I'm ready to be back. And I'm sure you are too, even though you may not be willing to admit it. I bet you're glad to be back. You're probably seeing some of your classmates and pals, uh, friends that you haven't seen probably in two weeks. But you know what? As I mentioned in my email before break, you know what? That's okay. That's healthy. Taking a break is healthy. Um, part of what my email said to you all and your families was uh, taking a break, literally stopping communication, no texting, posting, anything like that. Um, even with your very, 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 very best friend is really, really healthy. And so I, I hope you took advantage of that. Um, I gave my staff um, a full two weeks off from me, a break from me. They need a break from me. Let's be honest. They need a break from me. So I did the best I could to, um, to give them that. They deserve that. They work really, really hard. Um, every single day and, and so they deserved a break and, and uh, I hope they were able to do that. Um, and again, I hope you were as well. Um, but we are glad you're back. We're glad you're back. Um, a couple of things. Um, let's we're gonna dive in. like we just we're gonna get after it. We're gonna go. Um, let's it's it's rock and roll time. It's school time. It's second semester time. It is second half of the year time, new specials time, right? So your specials have changed, your electives are changed. Like there's a little bit of change going on. Um, and, uh, but the general routine of school is still going to be there. And, and uh, so hopefully that's settling to you. Um, but again, you've got new specials, you've got new electives. We've got new elective offerings that many of you have taken advantage of um, as far as Wizard of Oz and the Drumline. Um, so that's pretty awesome. That's this quarter only. Um, so for example, Miss Wilson is helping out with Wizard of Oz. So there's no um, science of photography this quarter. So uh, anyway, super excited, super excited. The sixth graders are joining us. In a couple of these, they're doing, they're joining us in Wizard of Oz. I'm going to meet with them this morning after homeroom. Those that want to participate, not all, uh, we can only take a certain number. And then uh, Drumline, there's a few students that we put in Drumline um, after talking with Mrs. Del Nero this weekend that we think will really enjoy that. So anyway, all right, we got a roll here. Let's do it. A couple of things. Um, one is this is Discovery Week in the high school. And the reason that's important to us is they're spread out all over the globe. Some are actually here on campus. So for example, some do their um, driving school on campus or during this time. Uh, some are out in California, uh, in Santa Barbara, doing serve and surf. So they're all over the place. Some are literally around the globe. Um, and so what that means for us is normally the high school eats after us and they, they're the ones that fold up the tables and move them back to the carpet. That is now our job. So our dining hall cleanup crew folks this week, you have more work to do. That's just how it works. So you have more of an opportunity to serve and we'll get to who those folks are in just a minute. So you're going to be the ones that fold them up and push them back to the carpet so that that big main hard floor area is able to be mopped and cleaned and stuff, but the tables have to be out of the way. Um, eighth grade, that breakout space right outside Mr. Zitzi's room has become kind of a mess, a dumping ground, and that ends today. That is not going to happen today, <clears throat> any more, today or any other day moving forward. There are shelves around the corner on the other side of Miss V's science room near the eighth grade biology lab. There are black shelves. Your stuff needs to be put there, not in the breakout space. If it's in the breakout space, I'm gonna take it um, and it will end up in my office for a while. So please 
please, please, please do not leave that stuff there. Just, it's a mess and, and it just has become clutter. And um, so we're gonna change. So that's starting today, starting today. Um, so after homeroom, I'm sure some of your stuff is there right now, eighth grade. After homeroom, uh, you're going to uh, get your stuff and put it on those black shelves if you don't take it to class with you, okay? Uh, cell phone, just a reminder, uh, the second you walk into the building, not at the beginning of homeroom, not five minutes after you walk into the building, you're going to walk into the building, walk up the stairs, you're going to go right to your homeroom, and you're going to put your cell phone uh, in, in the rack, okay? Uh, in that tech tray. Just a reminder, we're not playing with cell phones. Look each other in the eye and uh, ask how your break was. Talk to each other. Have a good time. Um, also, what starts today is just a brand new grading period. It is semester th or, uh, quarter three. Semester number two starts. Grades start from zero. Um, so it's kind of it's a clean slate. Uh, the, the quick change on that is we're going to run grade guardian reports every Monday. So that starts a week from yesterday. So this coming Monday, normally I've been running reports on Tuesdays. I'm going to run reports on Mondays and, uh, we will be communicating with you on who is in the support elective instead of your chosen elective. Okay. So grade guardian is going to be run on Mondays. Now in the past, it's been on Tuesdays. Uh, same with um, uh, the tardy uh, situation, because if I know Monday, then we can communicate who's on break restriction on Tuesday. Okay, so that's going to happen. All right, let me just roll through the calendar. There's not a ton going on here on the calendar. So let me zoom into this. <clears throat> Obviously, the Monday morning message uh, is on Tuesday. Uh, semester two begins today, specials change, things like that. We've got a sixth grade shadow student tomorrow and an eighth grade shadow student on Friday and um, chapel with a community builder focus on Thursday. Obviously, there's sports going on. Those are firing up practices and games and things like that. Dine Hall Cleanup Crew, here's our crew, awesome crew. You're gonna be the ones taking care of the tables. Uh, so it's Emma, Danica, Luke, AJ, Ellie, Talitha, and Carson Mack. Okay, Emma, Danica, Luke, AJ, Ellie, Talitha, and Carson. Uh, here's some update or uh, upcoming uh, events, okay? Um, that is about it on that. Um, I, I, I've got a, I wanted to read this. This is, as you know, one of my favorite books. <clears throat> and one of the, one of the devotions out of here that I think is amazing that I, this book's only a couple of years old that I've read the last couple of years on this first day back is as follows. It's out of Galatians. The, the, the title is plans work or they don't. Love always works. Go with the sure thing. So what this talks about is kind of New Year's resolutions. I'm sure some of you have heard about New Year's resolutions. Maybe you even have a New Year's resolution. Um, I, I don't. I, I, I just don't do those. I mean, I think they're great. Um, I support, wholly support those that, that do have them. I, I just don't happen to do them. Um, okay. What is it? So this talks about January 1, even though it's January 3. What is it about January 1 and making New Year's resolutions? I think they're terrific because they get people inspired to move toward the person they want to be. Later in January, I go around asking people if they made any, any resolutions. It kind of gives you a window into what their hopes and dreams are. One predictable recurring theme is friends who want to go to the gym on a regular basis. I, so I go to the gym every day and um, it is packed. After Christmas, it's packed and nowadays it's packed. So I was there, um, well, I was there yesterday. So I was there yesterday and it's busy. It's really, really busy, uh, which is great. People are like inspired by the new year, pumped, excited, let's go, it's great. Uh, that 
Um, one predictable reoccurring theme is gym uh, is friends who want to go to the gym on a regular basis. They say their gyms are like ghost towns in November and December. I would say that's mostly true for my gym, um, but it, it's still a pretty pretty busy place. But yes, it is not as busy as, as it was yesterday. And then January hits and they get as busy as a New York City subway. They also say the crowds begin to kind of diminish over the months. And by February, they're kind of back to normal. I, I would say that's true. So I've been a member of this gym. I think this is my 21st year of this particular gym. And it's the same as what they're describing here. Um, if only we could make our commitments surefire bets. And so instead of them sort of dwindling, like we could stick with them. Here's the thing. Plans are a toss up. Sometimes they work out. Sometimes they don't. Love always works. What if we simply commit to love? Don't plan on doing it or make a resolution to do it the way people hope to, hope to go to the gym. Just do it. Like, don't say I'm going to do it. Like, that's what we hear about the gym. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then they don't. No, no. What they're saying is, don't tell me you're going to do it. Just do it. No plan, no agenda. Just Jesus kind of oozing out through us every single day into the world, into our classrooms, into our friendships, right? Our lives are a series of positive experiences and some negative ones. Make your life about people and you won't regret it. There's no gym to join, no pounds to lose. Our hours and minutes are what make up our lives and God never intended relationships to be an afterthought. Make this year about people about loving people. We don't give our friends the love they deserve if we try to work them into the into when our lives slow down, sort of like wedge them in between. Let's not do that, okay? We'll wake up one day and realize we never really got to know the people we bump into every day, our classmates, even if they're the ones who sit across the dinner table from us tonight. If you have to choose between plans and your loved ones, go with the sure thing and choose love. All right, gang. Love you to death. We'll see you in the halls. Take care. That was a long one. Take care. Bye.